Hello, class. All right, welcome uh, to another lecture in HTML as we put more tools in your toolbox. So today we're going to do something probably, you know, one of the most complex things you're going to do as a web designer, or at least in this course, uh, depending on if you're going to if you're going to go professional as a web designer. But we want to look at how we make a website mobile responsive, right? When you use your, I mean, a lot of websites that you see today, you can use it also on your mobile phone or on your, on your tablet, right? So um, those are dynamic websites. So whatever screen the website is on, it's able to dynamically adjust to, you know, the dimensions of that screen. So it's, it's, it's a little bit of work and uh, some of the code we're going to use there uh, is code from JavaScript. Now JavaScript is not a part of this course, but I'm going to, I'm going to give you the code. We're going to see how we basically embed the code. So we're not going to learn JavaScript, we're just going to take the JavaScript and embed it in our work. Okay. So let me go ahead and share my screen and So here, let's close this part. So this is the website that we completed the last class or the last, um, maybe the, we completed, completed this, um, you know, the last lecture or one of the lectures that we did. So we're going to, now if you look at this website, um, let me open this website first of all called, yeah, uh, mobile test me. So mobile test me is a, you know, it, uh, it's for free. It allows you to test your website, how it's going to, for the most part, how it's going to look like on a mobile phone or on a tablet. All right. So let's click on this HTC one. Uh, where is it? Okay. Right here. And we're going to put the website in here. Okay. So this website will be built. I'm just going to copy the link for this to work. Your website has to be published. If the website is, if your website, your computer website is on your desktop, you have to publish it. Uh, you can't just use it directly from your desktop. So it has to be published for you to work in here. So I'm going to paste that link in there. All right. So you can see that that website is, certainly not mobile friendly, right? Um, a lot of our images are not, you know, our image is not showing um, the girl, the rounded images, the logo, you know, what well, the logo is showing, but that's about it. We're not seeing a whole lot of, some links are showing, but it should be better than this, okay? Um, let's, let's go back here. Let's say we selected, I don't know, this, some of this might be, you know, older models, but it doesn't really matter. Let's put it here. So in this tablet, let me just zoom out a little bit. In this tablet, we, well, we see some more of the site, but it's still not, you know, as friendly as we want it to be. Um, I have an example here of a, website that was done in the previous class. It's just a very basic website. Very basic, very, very basic. I'm just going to copy it and put it in here. Uh, let me, okay, let me change the, to the phone view. We're just going to do for the desktop view and the mobile phone. We're not going to do all the other devices in between. So let me click on that, put it in here. So you can see that uh, for the mobile phone, that website, you see it has showed, it's, it's showing us a hamburger, a hamburger menu. That's what it's called. Hamburger, like the food, right? Hamburger. That's what it's called. Because of like, I guess the three, you know, the three um, lines look like a hamburger. Um, so, so that's how a, you know, website should be formatted. Okay. 
and then you can have a menu. So because the web, because the mobile website is, or rather the mobile phone is very narrow. So you got to change or you got to de decide on a different kind of presentation. In fact, with mobile phones, you don't have everything that's on the desktop site may not necessarily be on the mobile phone site. The mobile phone is a more simplified version, right, of your main website. So it's not going to be the same thing um, or else it might be too crowded. Mobile phone is a very small device, so you've got to, be, you've got to pick and choose exactly what you display on the mobile phone. So it's a more simplified version, and more importantly, you always have some kind of a menu here, or uh, you have a, you know, a menu or a hamburger, like I said, where you have a lot of your links. So you can have as, as many links showing in there. Um, let's see some, let's go to some websites. So let's go to this website. All right, so this is the main website for Bunker Hill Community College. All right, you can see all the links up top there. You can see uh, the navigation, a lot of the images, you know, everything is, this is designed for a desktop, right? Your desktop or your laptop. Now, if we paste that same link in that mobile test me, let's see if we can do that. All right, so you can see that the website looks different from what you see um, in the actual site. Okay, um, there's a low in the actual on the desktop site. The logo is to the left. The red navigation it spans across. Everything is wide, right? The pictures are quite big and bold. And if you scroll all the way down, everything is designed for your desktop or laptop. But when you look at the mobile phone. And if you have a mobile phone with you right there, you can also look at it. You're going to see that it's very close to what it looks like on this Mobi Test Me site, mobile test me site. So you have a hamburger, like I said, hamburger menu, uh, where you have a lot of the links. A lot of the links, um, you can go further into the website. So that hamburger is pretty, you know, pretty cool to hide a lot of information that may not be able to appear on the home page. So you see the images. The way it's designed is a more streamlined, more compact version of the website. And then you're able to, there should never be a horizontal scrolling, like where you can scroll horizontally, just like on the desktop. If your website is designed properly, you should avoid horizontal scrolls. But vertical, we all use our thumb to scroll up and down. Okay, so. So you can see um, how it's designed. So we're going to try to, that's what we want to do today. We're going to redesign this website, this Beach Travels Unlimited website we built before. And we're going to try to modify it um, so that it's mobile friendly, right? In fact, a mobile friendly site, if you shrink your browser just a little bit, it should kind of automatically uh, change to a mobile site, right? So if I shrink this here, you're gonna see everything starts to kind of change its positioning, and now it looks like a mobile site, all right? So that's one way of knowing if a website is mobile friendly, just by shrinking your browser. Um, also, this example we looked at, if I shrink the browser, you can see in the full view, um, the hamburger doesn't show. And then you have the just two tabs for the navigation. But when you shrink the view, you see your hamburger appears. It has the menu in there. Now you can scroll up and down. Like I said, just a very simple site. All right, so now when you're going to build a mobile site, uh, it's, it's, it's very hard, not impossible, but really a tough job if you're going to convert a completed website into a mobile website. 
it's doable, but it's probably a very, very tough job. You have to break a lot of things and put everything back together. So the ideal way to do that, or uh, to build your site to be mobile friendly, right, is from scratch. From the first line of code that you write, uh, you have to know that this is going to be built as a mobile friendly site. So you're kind of doing a couple things at the same time, right? So let's begin. So we're not gonna use the old code we use here, where we might make some references back and forth to save time with typing, but for the most part, a lot of things might be new to you that we're gonna do. So let's begin. Um, I, have some, I have some files I'm gonna need here. I said earlier, we're gonna use JavaScript. So uh, when we get to that point, you can basically just type this address in your, just type this address and go to this address. It's gonna bring you to these files. So if we need to do that, I'll let you know um, in a little bit. Then this is just a regular hamburger um, icon. So you can do a search and just find one to use. Or again, you can go to this address here and copy what I'm going to use. It's just a, you know, just found it somewhere for this particular demonstration. All right, so let's close this Bunker Hill website here. Let's leave this open for now. And here is our mobile our desktop site. And we're gonna have, we're gonna move, move this all the way here for the new thing we wanna do. Or should I say the updated site we wanna do. So open up your text editor and let's get going. Like I said, I'm going to, you know, maybe um, do some copy and paste from the site we had before. Cause some things are going to be similar, but a whole lot will be different. So let's just see how it works or how we're gonna proceed with that. So let me open that file. I have it here. So this is the CSS we used before, and this should be the desktop. All right. All right, so here's the, I'm just gonna create a new, well, let me kind of start here. Open up a new page. All right, I'm just gonna copy what we have here. I don't want to have to type all this. And then I put the body tag. and the closing HTML tag. Yeah, you might notice that this tag here is like, there's a little bit of a difference. We have this doc type. Well, sometimes you might notice that some of the work we have done, or maybe you have done, uh, when you're trying to get your website to be consistent across browsers, this is a requirement uh, the doc type is a requirement from W3 schools. If you go there, um, it kind of helps Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge to display your website, you know, in a consistent fashion, in a way that they all look pretty close. All right, you get all the features um, and all the functionality to do what it's supposed to do across browsers. Sometimes, if you don't have that and you have just the HTML to start you may not get that consistency of performance across browsers. So, so make sure you do that. All right, we're just gonna call this, um, say, responsive website layout. All right, um, let's change this. Okay, so for the CSS, uh, so the way we're gonna do this, there's gonna be two CSSs, basically, right? We're gonna need a desktop CSS, so that's part of the new things we're gonna do. 
So let me just name that desktop dot CSS. Uh, word wrap. Okay, desktop the CSS, and we're going to have another CSS paste that. That's the mobile. So you need two CSS files. You're going to see why in a, you know, in a moment. So you want to just uh, let me save the file. So just do this part here. Uh, put in your title. Put in your title, put in two um, link uh, tags, basically, one for desktop CSS and one for mobile CSS. All right, let me save this here, save as. So I'm going to just use a new folder and say responsive. All right, so all my files are going to be in the responsive. So I'm just going to name this index.htm. All right. So right away, I'm going to create these two files. Open a blank page. All right, so a blank page. And I'm just going to name that. Nothing there yet. We're going to put stuff there, obviously. So this is my... Uh, make sure it's in the same folder, right? The same folder. That's my desktop CSS. And I need another one for my mobile CSS. Uh, mobile. All right. Okay, just trying to set things up here. Okay, so now let's, like I said, we're gonna go back to the old code and kind of go back and forth a little bit. So I needed to pay some real serious attention and type as we go along, right? This is a very important, shall I say, topic. And if you're going to work professionally or even you know, semi-professionally, right, as a web designer, you've got to be comfortable with how to build a mobile responsive site. So it's going to be a lot of moving parts here. So let's, let's, you know, let's stick together here and get this done. All right. So feel free to open your old files yourself as I have here, and so, all right. So the first thing that we did here was, you know, we did the uh, top bar, okay, the top bar. So we're gonna do that top bar first. So it's right here, right? I'm just gonna copy that. We need that here. So go to your index page, and that's the first thing you wanna put in there on line 10 or line 11 and close the top bar. Okay. Uh, if you feel like at times we're moving too fast in this um, lecture, just feel free to pause the lecture and then catch up and then you keep going, right? because we have a lot of ground to cover. I wanna make sure that we don't, you know, that we do cover the ground. So if you feel it's going too fast, just slow it, just pause it, make sure you catch up and then you continue. Give yourself time to get it. All right, so that's the top bar. I'm gonna to go to the CSS here and copy, it's gonna copy all this part here. I'm gonna to go to my desktop CSS and paste it there. All right, my desktop CSS and paste it there. So I'm gonna save and then um, let me preview my work so far. 
This is the responsive website, so I'm just going to drag my file here. And nothing is really showing up. So let's see. So here it is. Here, here it is. Top links bar. Top links bar. For some reason, it's supposed to show here. It's not showing. So let's see. Well, let me take all this stuff out first. Maybe there's something there. Refresh the page. No, that's not what it is. So let's see. we got, got to be sure we're looking at the right file. So here's a desktop CSS. Oh, I see. Well, there's nothing in there, I think. So we 100% height. This looks fine to me. Uh, give me one second. Let me troubleshoot that. Um, well, it looks like our files are saved in different places, which is not very helpful right now. So you see right here, this is the responsive website, but this CSS files are saved in the wrong place. So we got a little mix up there from, you know, we haven't started and now we're getting things mixed up. So let's fix that. So we've got to save this file, file save as, Okay, it's got to go in here in the responsive folder. All right. And same thing here. Yeah, so both the mobile and the CSS were saved in the wrong place. That happens. All right, save. Okay, so let's go back here and... All right, so all the stuff we had before, just undo, put it back there, save. And now let's refresh this page. And let's see. There you go. So that's what we want to have. Remember, that's the top part. Uh, let me just drag this you know, side by side. So that's the top part here. Remember, originally, the top part was all one solid color. Anyway, let's keep going. OK, so, so this is the desktop version. Now, the mobile version. Uh, we're just going to use, for now, we haven't uploaded anything. We're just going to use, you know, when we, you know, when we shrink the browser. That's how we're going to test for now. We're going to test the mobile version. So, all right. So I'm going to copy what, what I have here, right, and also put it on the mobile version. But there's going to be a difference. And here's the difference. When you're typing... Let me just consult some of my old code here. Okay, you don't always remember everything in your head. You don't have to. Just have your reference files that you're looking at. Okay, so when you're creating a, a CSS for mobile, that is, you want you know you want it to be dynamic. When it's on the desktop, everything shows nicely. When it's on a mobile phone, it shows the mobile phone version, right? We need a different CSS or different instructions for the CSS. So this is the mobile CSS file. You have to type this line at the very first line at the top of your CSS file. You've got to type media screen and you put a parenthesis right there max max width okay so just a uh, max width say 600 px all right in terms of um the width right of a mobile phone technically 600 is i mean you're probably not going to get a mobile phone that is 
wider in terms of the screen resolution than 600 pixels. So we're going to use 600 pixels. So basically, every device that is 600 pixels or lower, right, is going to be affected by the CSS. So once the screen, so even if you know it's our browser, once we shrink the screen and it gets less than 600 px, it's going to automatically use this the CSS in this file. That's this. That's what this command is. Believe it or not, that's what it is. So let's put a comment there and say mobile phone view, something like that. Okay, a mobile phone view. All right, so, so we're gonna be building the desktop CSS and the mobile CSS, you know, simultaneously, right? That's how it works. And we're gonna compare as we go along. So just to be, just to be, just to see that things are actually changing, we're gonna change the colors on both sides, right? So let's say that the mobile phone version is going to be more green. So right now, the desktop is more blue. Are you going to say the mobile phone will be more green? You know, like green. So let's just use green up here. That's all we've... Okay, this is not done. So you need to have a, a curly brace there and a curly brace at the bottom. So basically, everything, all your code is going to go between this curly braces on line two and line 16, all right? So once you do that, just forget about it. You know, you're done with this part, you're done with this part. Like I said, we're only going to create a, a mobile phone option. If you had a tablet option, then you probably will raise this to maybe 800 or 900 pixels. But now it's just gonna be desktop and mobile phone. With this knowledge, you can always do the in-between devices. All right, so we say both, now, remember, this is our HTML. We're basically using the same HTML, but now we have two different styles to control that CSS, that HTML. All right, so save and refresh the page. Nothing changes. This is a desktop version. In fact, well, yeah, let's do, leave that that way. And now when we shrink the screen, look at that. So now it's desktop. Once you shrink the screen, and now it becomes a mobile version, right? Once it gets under 600 PX, right? So now it goes over. So that gives you an idea of what we're talking about. Okay, let's keep going. Now, remember how we always like to get rid of the space up here. So let's go and do that. Let's just copy the code we had before. Go here. Um, just gonna copy everything here. Go to your desktop CSS, paste it up here. Um, the margin is zero. The font family is the same, font size. Um, so let's save that and see what we get. Refresh the page. All right, so all the spaces are gone. The spaces on the sides are gone. And now we have this background, which we did before, which is kind of light blue. So I'm gonna to go to W3 schools actually so I can get a good colors there for what we're trying to do for the green. All right, so for, all right, so for the mobile version, I was just gonna paste the same thing there, copy, paste it over here and right in here right there. And I'm gonna change the background color to something more green, like we said. So just a lighter green, maybe like this color here. Let's see if that works. Paste it right here and save. All right, so let's, we go do a lot of previewing. So this is the desktop version where we shrink the page there you go. So now this is your mobile version. This is desktop and this is mobile. All right, desktop, mobile. 
So you see um, there's no horizontal scroll bar going from left to right. You should never have a horizontal scroll bar um, you know, on the browser itself. It's just bad design. Okay. Okay, uh, let's keep going. All right, so we had um, we had a second, like a fixed section where you have the Beach Travels Unlimited. So let's do that part and the logo. That's where we had all those guys. So let's do that. So that is um, top links, bottom bar. So remember, we put we place that inside, right? If you remember. That's going to be, so let's go here, and that is going to be inside. Remember the sandwich? So it's going to be in here, right? The top links bottom bar is going to be inside the top links bar. That's what I want it to be. Okay, let's get the CSS. So top links bottom bar, this is the CSS. paste it here it's a good thing we have the old code we don't have to do a lot of typing um, so you know maybe that's helpful for you but if you're building a new website you know a totally different design you have to type or you know at least you have the you have the information you know what to type and how to go about it which is always good okay so let's Now, some of these values might change, but let's just leave it the way it is, save, and then see what the effect is, all right? If we need to adjust something, then we will. All right, so. Uh, we have that there, which is not exactly like this right now. So it looks like for the top bar, top links, bottom bar. Let's see where we put it here. Well, the only thing, we don't have the links up top, but let's see the CSS, the old CSS, if we're missing something, top links, bottom bar. I don't think we're missing, oh, well, believe it or not, we didn't use the container. Desktop version and mobile version you need the container. That's what keeps everything together, right? So um, I'm going to like retrace my steps because I want us to do this the right way. Hopefully it, this doesn't confuse you. So I'm just gonna go to the desktop here and get everything out of there, right? Just take everything out. and grab the container. The container is the first item that you want to be, you want to set up. So let's put that there, the container. And the same thing, we're going to do the same thing for the mobile. So we're just going to get everything out of here, except the media screen. You know, we need the media screen line. So paste the container. And like I said, we're going to change the colors so for the desktop, let's just say the container here is, what did we say before? We said it was blue and here it's gonna be green. All right. So save all that, refresh the page. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Obviously, we need to get the container divs. So the container div is right here. So the container div, let's just take this out. It won't take us too long to put it back. Container div. All right. So save. This is how we should start, right? You want to start with the container and then start putting all the stuff in there. So we kind of went ahead of ourselves. So refresh the page, and that's your container. 
Uh, the container is kind of dropped down because we did that in the, if you look at the old code, uh, right here, we dropped down the container um, 230 from the top. And we did that on purpose, okay? So just to be less confusing, let's comment out that part. Let's put a comment there. We're gonna need it later, but let's just put a comment there for now, just to kind of hide it. All right, so save, refresh the page, and now this is how it should be. Um, for the mobile view, let's do the same thing. We're gonna comment it out, copy. Right here. Same thing. All right. So this is the desktop view, and this is the mobile view here right there. So that's the mobile container. All right. Okay. Next thing. Let's grab the body items. Go here. Let's put it up here. And let's put it up here in the mobile view. So the color we used again is this color here in the desktop, in the mobile view. So just always just changing colors around, okay? So save, refresh the page. This is your mobile view. Basically, we gave it a light blue background color and now we've centered the container, okay? If you go to the desk, to the mobile view, Okay, so it has a, well, it has a, well, why do we have the scroll bar? We shouldn't have a scroll bar here, so let's go and fix that. We, we don't have a scroll bar in the desktop. We shouldn't have a scroll bar in the mobile view. So look at the code here in the mobile view. You notice that the width is 1140. Now that, that's definitely much wider than the screen um, of a mobile mobile phone. So when you're dealing with widths in a mobile phone, usually we deal with percentages, right? And here, this is going to just be simply 100%. Because we want the width to span the whole screen, the width of the screen. All right, so that's going to be 100%. So those are the you know, the changes that you're gonna notice um, when you compare the mobile and the desktop CSS. So let's save that, refresh the page. It should get rid of this horizontal bar, but see, we have this padding that we used before. So let's remove this padding here because it adds, you know, to the dimensions. So take that padding out for now In fact, even the, the over, well, let's leave the overflow. We probably don't need it right now. I'm gonna comment it out. It might just give us more trouble for now. So let's take it out. So we have the margins, the height, all that is okay. So save, refresh. Okay, we still have some weak thing going on. So let's investigate that. So if you look at the body, we have margin zero, font family, font size, background color is fine. Uh, the width is 100%. Margin left, margin right. I'm not sure we need that here. So let's take that out. Save. Refresh. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take out everything here, everything here. Just leave, this is the mobile version, right? Mobile CSS. I'm just going to leave the background color with height. Save, refresh, kind of get rid of this. And get rid of the um, scroll bar.
All right, so all right, so here's what I what I you know want to kind of bring to our attention. Now when you're building the, the mobile CSS and the desktop CSS, um you gotta it's like you gotta be you gotta take time, right? It, it takes time because something's gonna be frustrating. For example, some um properties that you have in your desktop CSS sort of affect the mobile CSS if you don't take it out or if you don't fix it. For example, you can see that right now in the mobile CSS for the container, all we have is background color, width, and height. We save. Uh, we shouldn't be seeing this horizontal scroll bar, but in the desktop version, we have a whole lot more things. Now see what happens. I'm going to delete everything I have here. Right. That is going to delete the position, Z index, color, padding, and all that. I'm going to just delete this part. Save. And refresh this mobile view. To see what happens now. The horizontal scroll bar is gone. Right. So, of course, you're learning. You're going to learn how things work, what you can use, and what you should take out. But just showing you some things in your desktop version might be affecting the mobile version. So if we stretch this out, we're good. This is how we want the desktop version to be. There's no horizontal scroll bar. And well, I guess that's one of the disadvantages of copying and pasting, right? You, you grab all the other stuff here. You may not need some of it. So. Have we led our lesson? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. So, so this is the mobile version. This is good. This is what we want to see for now. Okay. And this is the desktop. Uh, it's centered. We don't need any, we don't need to center anything in the mobile. We just want it to flow in the mobile, you know, just flow from, from edge to edge. Okay. So the container looks okay for now. So let's go to the other parts. So let's go to the top bar. I'm just going to grab the top bar. Um, well, probably don't want to do too much, right? So grab the top bar here, copy. Now the top bar was outside the container on top of it. So I'm going to paste it here and then close it out. So let's get the styles that we had for the top bar. Paste it right here. And now we're just going to have, okay, well, let's leave, let's leave everything here in the desktop version. Let's save. Let's see how the desktop version looks. All right, so that's fine because it's supposed to be at the top right of the screen. Okay, so when we go to the mobile version, let's copy the same thing. We just got to be careful of what we're copying. We may not need some things there. So let's take out these two guys. Um, We want this to be like mostly green, so let's get another shade of green here. All right, let's see. If, let's see. If, let's see if everything's fine. All right, so it looks fine. Um, nothing is falling off the page. Nothing is breaking right now. Everything looks normal. This is the mobile version. This is the desktop version. So, so far, so good. Okay, let's grab the next part. Next part is the bottom links 
top bar. We put that inside the top links bottom bar. Sorry, we put the top links, we put this inside the top bar, yeah. Okay, we close that out there. Okay, then let's grab the code. And paste it right here in the CSS, in the desktop CSS. Let's save. Refresh the page. All right, I think let's do this part. Let's just grab the let's grab the links. The links are inside the top links bar, so let's grab that and put it here. Just take let's get that out of the way. So the links are right here. Okay. So save. So those are the links there. We're going to apply all the necessary stuff there to it. Okay, so now in the mobile version, uh, we need to fix things there. So let's go to the mobile version. Uh, let's grab the top links bar, copy that. Paste it right there. And the width is correct. It's 100%. Okay, the width is 100%. The height is okay. Text align left. That's fine. Position, bottom. I think everything we see there is okay. Let's just change this color. Just want to see something there. All right, save. Okay. We may want this link to appear different um, in the mobile version, but let's just keep going. Actually, yeah, why do we have this red? Let's give it a shade of green. Let's just be consistent in what we agreed to do, right? So a shade of green, a lighter shade. Let's grab this lighter shade. Copy that. Okay. All right. Okay, so in the mobile version, we want to make sure that this part comes down, right? This is how it looks like in this side here. Um, you know what, to help us a little bit, I'm gonna change the background of the body. Everything is looking too, sim you know, too close together. So let's just call that white. And same thing here, let's call that white. Yeah, the colors are, there's too much blending going on, so I'm not, all right, so that's the white part. Okay, good. And then same thing here. All right. You just want to create as, you know, obviously as little confusion for yourself as possible. Okay, so. So let's let's so in the desktop version, this links here. There's a way they appear, right? So let's go and see if we can do that part. Let's go here and here are all the links. So easy to just copy and paste, right? For the desktop, so just copy that. Copy all the styles. Go to your desktop and just paste it right here. Paste. All that is just literally the same thing, right? So save, 
refresh the page and now your desktop is looking okay not exactly the same as the as the mobile because when we go to the mobile it might look the same but we don't necessarily want the mobile to look like this right on the mobile phone everything's so small so we're going to introduce our hamburger menu um like maybe like right now even Okay, so, yeah, so in the desktop, you can have links and everything up here. In the mobile, it's going to be different. So, maybe we should just go ahead and, you know, use the, and add do that right now. So, here's what's going to happen, right? When you go to mobile, version, mobile the mobile uh, view, we don't want to see these links this way. Okay, so here's what we do. You go to the mobile you go to the mobile, right, and you say, here's what I want to do. Um, the links, right? So the links are... The links, let's go desktop. All right, so the links are the top link, the top links bar. Okay, the top links bar. So we want the top links to be there, but we don't want those links. So we've got to change something a little bit here. So let's do this. Sometimes you've got to show some items in the desktop and hide them in the mobile, and then do the reverse. Show some things in the mobile and hide them in the desktop. So that's what we're going to do here. Because we might have things overlapping too much. So the first thing is we don't want this links appearing here. So go to your um go to your uh go to your index page here and let's do this we're going to put another div here yeah let's put another div here Or rather, let's do it this way. So right now, this is the, this whole section, line 10, 11, line 9, 10, 11, 12, that's the top links bar. And we have the top links bottom bar inside the top links bar, right? So let's create another bar. I'm just going to copy this here and put it here. Close it out. Now this time, this bar is going to be for the mobile view. Okay? So I'm just going to say mobile. Our top links bar mobile. Okay? Top links bar mobile. And see what we're going to do. We're going to use the same properties as the top links bar, right? We're going to use the top links bar in the desktop version and the top links bar mobile in the mobile version. But here's how we have to proceed. Let's go to, so let's go to the desktop CSS. Let me just show you something, right? I'm just going to type something in here. It's not the final thing. I'm just going to type mobile links in here, right? Just so you see what's going on. So let's save this for now. Let me take this out. All right. So see what happens. Let me refresh this page. So you see, uh, you see the blue bar. This blue bar here shouldn't be here. And let me see something here. Yeah, this blue bar actually is where we have written this mobile links. 
That's why we wrote there. But we don't want it to show in the desktop version, just in the mobile version. Okay, so we have to make some changes. So here's what we do. Let's copy this. Go here, paste it here. Uh, we need the pound sign. And then we have to go here and say display, display none. So in the desktop view, we don't want that. We don't want this uh, online 13. We don't want this div showing at all in the desktop view. So that's what we just did. Display none. So save, refresh this page. You can see that it's gone. Okay. Now we want it to show in the mobile view. So let's shrink to the mobile view. We go to the mobile CSS and we say, sound like you got to reverse it. Copy that. Uh, let's move this down here. Paste it here and say display block. Display block. That means show it. Save. Refresh, and now you see that line that just appeared here, right? That's what it's going. That's where it's going to be. So let's just tweak a little some things here for now. So back in the mobile view, we're going to get rid of this top bar here. Okay, so top links bar. So remember, try not to be confused. Here's what we're going to do. For the mobile view, for the desktop view, we're using top links bar, and the top links bottom bar is inside the top links bar. In the mobile view, we're going to use, um, it's, going to, it's going to be like this. Let me copy this here. So it's gonna be this what it's gonna be like. Delete. That's what we're trying to do. So this section right is gonna show up in the desktop version. And this section is gonna show up in the mobile version. So we show this like display block when we're in the desktop CSS and we show this when we're in the mobile CSS. So if you want it to show here, then you hide it on the other side. You want it to be hidden on the other side, then you show it on the other side, right? So a lot of items that we want to show in the desktop is going to be hidden on the mobile and the, the reverse is true. So sometimes you have to create duplicates of your divs with different names, all right? You gotta create duplicates of your divs with different names. So that's what we're doing actually. So I'm just gonna change this to mobile links. We're gonna fix the whole thing later, but just for you to see, the, see what's going on, we're gonna take out all these guys here, take out all these guys here. All right, save. Okay, so save, refresh the mobile. All right, so you see things are a little bit off. So we've got to go in the mobile and block. You've got to block this guy, right? This guy here in the mobile view. So go here, just take out everything here and say display none. Because this number nine on line 19, that div belongs to the desktop view. But you can't just ignore it. You have to deliberately prevent it from showing. All right, so save, refresh the page. So now you see, right? We're checking it out. So we're gonna apply the properties, right? The properties, let me actually undo that for one second. We need these properties here.
Okay, we're going to apply the properties that we had for the top links bar. We're now going to apply it here in the top links mobile. Right? So let, so let me just save that, refresh the page. So you can see that we've kind of moved things around a little bit. Now, when you go to the desktop version, exactly how we want it to be. The desktop version is going to show us everything here, the top links bar with all the links, contact directory, members, and all that stuff, sign up. And it's going to show us the uh, top links bottom bar, this blue part. But it's not going to show us this part here because we've, we've said display none. So in the, in, the, in the desktop CSS, display none. So essentially, like I said, we're going to create, we might have to create duplicates of some divs and then we hide it here and then we let it show on the other side. That's sort of how you build your mobile responsive website. I said, this is fine. You shrink it. So this is how it is right now. When it gets the mobile view, everything changes. And that's good. That's what we want to do. Okay. So we want to kind of bring this green bar, light green bar down, of course. So let's go here and I think what we did was, let's compare. All right, we did a positioning here, right? Positioning, so let's copy that positioning in the top links bottom bar. Oh, we have that, so that's not there. Top links bar, we did a text position fixed. We did that all, all that already. So let's see. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's, I think it's the height. The bar mobile height is 200. Okay, let's see something going on here. Okay, well, we can just do this. Let's just increase the height. Um, we'll say the top links mobile, top links bar mobile, that's the slight green part. We want to bring it down. So we're going to say position. No, this is what we want to bring down. So we've got to change this here. Yeah, this is what we want to bring down. Yeah. We want to bring this down, the bottom bar, the top links bottom bar here. Okay, so let's make this 15 pixels. Okay, it's coming down, which is what we want to do, 25. Okay, a little bit more, say, I don't know, 30. A little bit more, 32. Looks like 33 will be just perfect. Okay. So now it's, it's moved to the position in the mobile view that we want it to be, right? You just got to know, you know, all the moving parts. Okay, this code is for what part and this code is for what part. Uh, so we know that this is the top links bottom bar. It's going to control the look of that. If you go back to your desktop view, you got to switch back and forth because sometimes you make a change in the desktop view, it messes up the mobile view and vice versa. So you got to constantly be previewing. So this is fine so far. 
So why don't we just, you know, place a hamburger in there, um, you know, before we go too far. All right, so we're gonna replace this mobile phone with the hamburger. So go in here and let's go right in here. I'm gonna put it right here. Just take out that link and put an image SRC equals. All right, so here is that uh, logo that I found, the icon. So you can just go to this link, copy everything. I mean, just type all this, this address here. It's gonna bring you there, or you can go and do a Google search for some other one, but this works, right? So I'm gonna save this in my folder. And just save it exactly how the name appears here, exactly how it is, right? Don't change the name, don't just exactly how it is, right? It's gonna be the same thing, save. All right, go back to your code and put it right here right there now give me one second let me consult something i have here oh, actually let's just keep going so save so refresh this page it's fine here because we've already hidden you know this div so go to the there you go okay now obviously it's too big right it's like ginormous so let's reduce the size let's say width style width uh, let's try I don't know 70 px okay that still looks um It looks like it has increased the size of our bar, of the green bar. So we don't want that to happen. So actually, or maybe what we can do is, uh, let's say the top links mobile bar, what's the size is 100%. 100%, so. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Let's just see something here. Let's see 40. Um, it's small, so how about, Bring it back, let's say 90. Okay, let me look at a, a, a file I have here, one second. Okay, I think it's about 45. 45. And then if we do float, R I G close right. Okay, so float right, it gets the um, the top bar, the top links bar mobile to shrink. All right, so let's so we can increase it a little bit more. So let's say we want it to be fifty five. How about that? Okay, fifty five. It would have been nice to get a transparent or you know a transparent hamburger menu. But you know, let's not worry too much about that. Maybe we'll make this fifty two. All right. Uh, let's push this down now. 
So it goes to the bottom here, with, that's where you want it to be. So go to the mobile and you got to say here, this should be what, 43 now? Coming down a little bit more, say 48. Maybe 50 actually. Yeah, 50 works. So are we happy with the um, hamburger menu? I want you to fill this space here. So let's see if we can do that without causing too much trouble here. 56 PX. How about 66? Sixty sixty nine almost there. Seventy one. Not quite seventy three. One more, one more pixel. I think 75 will be perfect. Okay, 75 is perfect. So it fits in here uh, nicely. So let's uh, go to desktop view. It's fine, nothing has changed, nothing is messed up. We go back to, so desktop view, mobile view, we see that hamburger. So now, we got to do, we got to get the hamburger to work. Like this is the tough part with the JavaScript and everything. All right, so uh, give me one second here. Okay, so um, All right, so in here, we need to create the menu that's gonna go there, like the links. I'm just gonna use the same links here, right? Just copy the same links you had before, and we're gonna put them right here. Um, we're gonna put them in a div. Let me verify that. We're gonna put them in a div. So we're gonna put them in a div, and we're gonna call this div, excuse me, div, ID we're going to call this um, menu actually I, I think I mixed I messed something up there so before we're going to put the image itself in a div, div, all right, with an ID. Yeah, this has to be very precise. Menu bar. Yeah, type the menu bar exactly how it looks like here. So put this div, this opening div before the image tag, and then close the div here. Yeah, exactly like that. Okay. And then right below that, we're going to put another div. This time the ID for that div is menu nav bar it's very case sensitive because remember we're going to use javascript so we need to type this id exactly how you see me typing it or else it's not going to work with the javascript file that we have so open this up 
Okay, so we're going to put those links in here. Yep, just like that. Okay, exactly like that. So we don't have to worry about all this stuff showing in the desktop version, because remember, we blocked the top links bar mobile from showing. So nothing is going to show. But let's verify that. So refresh this page. It shows in it shows in the mobile view. The desktop view doesn't show, right? So we need it to show here. But we're going to make some adjustments, right, in a second. It's not, this is not exactly how we want it to appear. We want it to appear when we click on this on this hamburger menu here. So we still got a little bit of work to do. So let's go into the style and create uh, the style for menu bar. All right, so go here. Okay, so one second. All right, so what we're going to have this display block. And then we're going to have H-E-I-G-H-T. Let's say the height is 30 PX. All right. So that's going to affect this part. It's going to affect this part here where we have the image or the hamburger. Okay. But just saying, wanting to show. It is showing already, but so let's save that. Refresh the page. So you move down a little bit. Okay. That's fine. And then we do the other part, which is the menu bar links. So copy that, or you can just type it out. And look at my notes here. All right, let's see that. So the width, let's give it a width. 50%. Like I said, in mo when you're doing the mobile version, we use a lot of percentages, right? Because you can't be so, you can't be absolutely sure of the dimensions. So we use percentages. Uh, let's say background color. Let's just give it red, something we can see for now. Uh, H E I G H T, you give it a height. All right, we'll say the height is 105. 105 px for the height. The width can be in percentages. The height we can use a fixed number. Display block, and then we say float. Right. You see what all these properties do. I'll show you in a second. All right. So let's save that and see what happens here. All right. So you see how it kind of looks for now this red bar. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. Let's change this width. Let's change this width to, let's just say, I don't know, 100 PX. So I'm not liking how it looks like now. Yeah, that looks more like it.
Um, anyway, let's put it back. We'll, we can make corrections as we go. All right. So what else do we want to do now? Okay, let's do, let's do the menu, the, the A links now. Let's design the actual links. This is just the background, the actual links now. A. The appearance of the links. So uh, we can give it a width again. Same width, 100% this time. Um, background color. Just give it transparent. Transparent. A height. I'm just going to copy a lot of this here. 35. Uh, let's say. Uh, text. Align. Right. Vote. All right, let's see what we have so far. Let's see how it looks. All right, so they're not really showing now. They're kind of like hidden in the background. We might need to uh, change the Z index to get it to show, you know, to be up top. Okay, let's do that. Let's do, let's, let's fix, let's do the Z index. I think the Z index has to go here. Z index, let's say 10. Uh, how about we say, let's go crazy, 100. Uh, all right, oh, nav bar links, no, it shouldn't be there. Should it be there? It should be, what we want to show is menu nav bar links is where we want it to show. So menu nav bar links, yeah, right there. But well, let's apply it here and see. It's gonna get it to pop up here. Okay. One second. Um, okay, well, that didn't work here, so let's reverse strategy a little bit here. And how about we send this guy to the back? Let's see what happens. So that guy is this guy here. So we say Z index. Let's give it a Z index of minus one. No, that's not what we want to do. It's the other one. It's this one. Top links, bottom bar. This guy. There you go. So we pushed it to the back. Um, but we pushed it behind this guy. Right. Um, now it looks like we need to, well, let's just keep going. It's progress. So once you see progress, it's like, it's a good thing. All right. So now you notice that the red here is, it's not long enough. So let's go to the red, increase the height to Uh, 
Well, let's see. Let's let's make the A. Let's give the A itself a red background. Okay, and let's remove this one. This is going to be transparent. We actually don't even need anything there. Okay, so it's fine. So, yep. Um, some space that needs to be taken care of right there. So let's say line height. Twenty PX. All right, so it dropped down a little bit. If you notice, right? Drop down a little bit. Let's say thirty. Drop down a little bit more, which is good. Let's give it a padding to the right. Say eight pixel padding. That's to the right of this red box. All right, so and now we can shrink this, the size of the red box, the width of it. So instead of 100%, I think, actually, this is what we shrink. This should be what we shrink. So let's say this is 30%. All right, so you see that. Well, we can decide to give it a fixed width, like 100 PX. That's 100. Maybe we'll make it a 130. You know, as you understand, then you know what each value does. So you've got to give yourself time to go over this several times, right? Okay. So um, you can also add paddings to the top. Padding, that's top of each of the links, right? Let's see another 8px. All right, so it's uh, it's okay. Uh, let's reduce the line height. That's a bit too much now. Say twenty five. Wait, what we do there? How about thirty two. Okay, you know what, we don't need this padding top here. Yeah, we can add the padding in here instead, right? The padding in the um, in the box, the red box, not in the links, in the red box. So this is the red box here. Well, well the box is transparent right now, but that's the box that's holding the all the links. So uh, top. The 8px. Basically, we want some space up here. So let's save it. Some space up here. Um, no. Uh, padding top. Oh, we need padding bottom. So let's see. We need both. Didn't do what we're looking for. So how about we change that to margin? Just up top. Up, you know, top on top of the contact, and then bottom. Okay, let's increase this to eighteen. See what? Uh, it's not doing what we want to do. So let me take it out. Okay, let's make the, the box taller. Make it one twenty-five. Okay, so we got to give it the same red color. That's why we're not seeing anything happening. The box is transparent. Okay. And here, so. What happens if we make this yellow? I just want to see something. 
Okay, that's yellow. And this is, how about if this is 155? Okay, so the red is kind of behind. You see that? It's behind. So maybe it's better to just make this transparent instead. So you have options, right? Once you know where everything is at. Okay. So the red that's showing is the box that's that's holding the links, right? So, so let's push down those links now. Um, say line height thirty eight. Okay. Well, let's just leave it the way it is for now, and we can say we're fine. Okay. Now, how about how about this? Let me try something here. Eighty percent. One fifty five. 555 okay so 555 just trying to get it to be you know like a much longer box so 245 yeah like if you want your box to be longer maybe you're going to have more links and stuff like that you can always certainly do that so let's say we're going to have a bit more links here we're going to have let's say uh we're going to have i don't know just put some random links there. Menu. We're going to have the directions. Save. All right, so you have some more links there. So you spent quite a bit of time on that. All right. How about the color? So that, of course, uh, that red is a bit uh, too harsh. So we can just change the red color to something lighter or darker. So how about we go here, we grab this guy. Let's just see how it looks. Um, we say, put it right here. All right, it's dark and now we'll say the color, the text color white. I will take out the underline so text decoration C O R A uh, non. What do we have? The color white. Oh, this shouldn't be here. Actually, none of this. This two guys shouldn't be here. Should be down in this section. All right, there you go. So your contact, your directory. Now, if we want the uh, the links to show from the very top, I guess we can we can go here and say um, menu bar. So what's the menu bar now? The menu bar is what's holding the, that's what's holding this hamburger. If we want this whole box to go up top, so let's see that. So we say position. relative okay and then we say top let's try 3px from the top okay we need to reverse it so minus okay push it up a little bit more how about 13 
bit more, uh, let's say, out of 20. Want to go to the very top, 25. Almost there. 29. I think 30 should be fine. Minus 30. Okay. So basically, now let's go to JavaScript. We spend enough time on this guy here. When you click on this hamburger, once we set up JavaScript, uh, you click and unclick, this guy should disappear. That's how the menus work on the mobile phone. You click and unclick to show and to hide. So let's go to the JavaScript. All right, so let me look at my notes here. Okay, so go to your index page and let's just say, go into the head section here and just type script. And close out the script. Make sure you stay in the head section. And then you give it a attribute SRC, just like you do with images, but this is not images now. And then you've got to name that menu bar dot js. js stands for JavaScript. So now you go and grab the JavaScript, go back to that link that I showed you, go here, no, right here, type the whole thing so you can get to this web page. And basically, you're going to copy everything you see here. Okay, just copy the whole thing, go to your code, get a blank page, paste it all there, and save it with that same name, right? Menubar.js. Make sure it's saved in the same folder as all your files so far. The so file save as, make sure you go into that folder, because I've made the mistake a few times to save things in the wrong place. So menubar.js, save. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening here. You know, I'm not necessarily going to explain everything. Uh, I might have to tweak a little, you know, a few things. Menu, menu, not bar. So we have a menu bar here. We have a menu bar links. I think I'm going to need to tweak a few things. Uh, but give me one second. All right, so I just looked at my reference file here. Um, I think some things we need to change. So right now you should be at this point where, you know, you should be able to click here. Well, maybe not quite yet. Um, one second. One second. This is where I was just checking out some things. I went offline for a second. You may not have, not have noticed. Okay. All right, so let's continue and I'll get you up to speed. I just looked at some of my notes for a second there. So right here, let's put a, a link, um, a 
and I close it right here. Now, this is part of JavaScript, so we have to type this on click. On click, and then in that on click, um, wait, sorry, let me undo. Let me just get us back to where we were before I Okay, so this is where we were. I kind of made some changes offline. So right here, let's type a link. And close the link out right here. Okay. All right, this link is not actually going to be active, so you can put a pound sign in there. All right. Now, right after the A, Let's put a JavaScript, what we call a JavaScript event, an event, right? And that's going to say, uh, one second here, the on click is going to say show menu nav bar. Now you put a parenthesis, type it exactly how it is here. What we have here actually corresponds to what we have in the JavaScript, which is right here. You may not understand it, so don't worry about understanding it. We're just going to use that file, but uh, it's all case sensitive. So in your index, type that right here, show menu nav bar. Okay? That's the first thing we do. Um, you save. If you refresh your page, you notice that this is clickable, but nothing's really going to happen. It's just, you know, it's clickable, but nothing happens right now. Next thing we've got to do, go to the JavaScript and change these values, 44, right? The width here has to be the same as the width we have in our index file, which is 75. So go to the JavaScript and just change this 44 to 75 and this 44 to 75. I think those are the only two changes you have to make in the JavaScript and then save the file. All right. A couple more things. Um, go here to line 18 and push that down. We're going to put another div in there. Like I said, this is a little bit of a com complex project. So, but once we're done with it and you review, um, you can build your own mobile responsive site. A lot of the things there are reusable, just like code. You can reuse code once you get it right the first time. So right here, let's put a div ID And we're going to call, and then we close that div ID out here, right here. So we're going to call this div here um, menu nav bar, menu nav bar, just this right here, menu nav bar. Just going to push this in so you know it's in there. Yeah, so this is the new div we just did. Type it there and then close it out right here on line 23. So make sure you do that. Okay, uh, we have one more thing to do to get that um, have hamburger to work. Okay, so go into the mobile mobile um, CSS, change this height also to 75, 75. No, sorry, not that, not that one there. It's the no, actually we don't we don't do anything there. So so right here, let's create that uh, menu nav bar. Menu 
nav bar. Okay. Now menu nav bar. This is a small AR, yeah? Okay. So type in display non. Display non. And now let's save everything. If everything is if we, everything is done correctly, it should work. And I'll walk us through what we just did a little bit. So refresh your page, right? That menu should disappear. When you click here, it should appear. You click again, it should go away. You click, it appears. You click again, it disappears, right? Refresh the page. You click, it appears, which is how it, that's how it usually works, right? Uh, you click again, it disappears, right? So uh, take a minute here. If yours isn't working, this is all you have to do here. First of all, make sure that line seven, you have this line seven in there. Your script source, menu bar .js. And then right here is all you have, is, you know, it's, it's, it's the rest of what you have to do. Make sure your line 16 to line 23 is consistent with what I have here. Okay. Um, specifically, you have a div ID, you have a menu bar here. You have a another div menu bar, menu nav bar, and you have menu nav bar links. So right here in your menu bar, you have the hamburger, the hamburger menu right here. This is the hamburger menu right here, the hamburger icon uh, with 75 float right. And this is what gets the JavaScript to work. Show menu nav bar right here. Okay, so make sure this is consistent with yours. And then in the JavaScript, all we changed there was the width, the width of the hamburger, right? The hamburger menu, the, the image file, the width, because we want the width to be consistent. Okay, so if you're gonna reuse, so just make sure that is fine. And then your CSS, just the mobile CSS, uh, this is, Everything that works with the hamburger menu. This is one, one, two, three, and four. In fact, let me see if I can, let me show you, see, just give you a little bit of a hint of something here. So right here, you notice we have display none. What does that do? So go back to the index page. This is the display none is on the menu nav bar. And this is the menu nav bar. You notice that the menu nav bar is like the container for the links, right? The links also have a sub div, which is menu nav bar links. But basically all these guys here are inside the menu nav bar. Okay, so the menu nav bar is the container. Basically, uh, when we refresh, the, when we click here, that's what shows up here. Okay, but in the CSS, it says display none. So when you get to this page for the first time, or you know, you open it up for the first time, it's it's not going to show. That's what the JavaScript basically um, has done. Right, then when you click, then it shows. That's what JavaScript says, right? On click, when you get to the page the first time, right, everything here is gonna happen. When you click on that button, everything here is gonna happen. When you take a JavaScript class, this might make more sense to you, right? So everything here, we need it to be exactly how it is. Now, look at this, if I go to the CSS, Remember, once you refresh this page, everything is kind of hiding. 
When you click, you, it shows, you click, it goes off. All right. Now, if I change this to display block, right? When you get to this page for the first time, you're going to see the links there. That's not how it works, right? It shouldn't be showing, right? It shouldn't be showing. Uh, and when you click this, so you don't really, so when you click, so it shows the first time, and then when you click, it disappears. It, it, it shows, it disappears. So it's kind of like it's not working as it should work. So the ideal thing is when you get to this page the first time, all those links should be hidden or should be hidden. So that's why we have display none. We're saying that whole menu nav bar, right, everything in here, hide until we click. And that click action is right here. It activates what we call a function. And that's how the whole process uh, continues. Now, it may not make a lot of sense to you. I get it. Sometimes some code doesn't always make sense to me. My, my priority at that point or my goal is make sure I can embed it in my work. If I embed it on my website and it works, I'm happy with it. So I don't always have to understand 100% how the code works. But if I can tweak it just enough to get it to do what I need it to do on my website, I'm happy. Sometimes that happens professionally. Okay? So uh, make sure you review everything here. Um, it's actually not a lot that we have here. It's not a lot, but this section, especially from line 16 to line 23, you need to have, uh, yeah, you need to have all that. Actually, uh, to be more clear, I think everything from line 16 to 27, you got to have everything on the whole page, right? But specifically for the navigation, the hamburger, it's all here. So make sure you have everything here. Go through every single character. Make sure you have the same thing. Go to your mobile CSS. Make sure you have everything uh, from line 46, line 52, line 63, line 76. And then finally, uh, your menu bar JS. The, if your, if your file is not working, it just might be something you didn't type correctly, you know, like case sensitivity, very important. Like menu nav bar here is case sensitive, how you type it, menu bar, show menu nav bar with the parentheses here. All that is part of what gets this to work, right? So once you get it to work, you can always, you know, like copy that bunch of code, copy the JavaScript, and use it on another website, okay? So you don't have to type this from scratch all the time. If you get it to work here, it's gonna work wherever you place it. Now you can always tweak your CSS so that this menu kind of moves around, but this is mostly the functionality that you need. All right, so I'm gonna save it again, refresh the page, right? It disappears for a second. Once I click here, it shows again. That's what I want. Now, uh, you see the space at the bottom here for the green. Let's see if we can get rid of that space. So let's go back to our CSS. And that green is the top. I think that's the top bar. It should be uh, top, top links no top links bar mobile i think it's this here uh what controls that part this part here Let's go here to line 60. Let's change this to 10 and see. But that's not it. Undo that. 
I'm trying to see where we had what well, we had. Oh, I think it's I think it should be right here, isn't it? So top links bar. So we have this. Okay, let's go to our HTML. So we have the hamburger inside what? Oh, that's the wrong HTML. I'm looking. I'm looking at the wrong HTML. Okay, this is the HTML we need. So the hamburger is inside the menu bar, which is inside the top links bar mobile. Top links bar mobile. Okay. So go here. Top links bar mobile is right here. So I think the height might be the problem. The height. So let's change the height here to 100 and see what happens. Uh, we're not seeing that change, so it's not the height. Wait, let's change this to red. Just want to see something, you know, where stuff is happening. Okay, so that's where stuff is happening. Okay. So. Let's change this height to 50. Okay, there's something in the background of it. Or I see. Okay, so. All right. So the bar itself, we make that 50. You see that, make that 50. And then it looks like we've got to push up this guy here, up here a little bit. Okay, so let's undo that. You know, it's like sometimes looking for a pin in a haystack, like, you know, what's happening? Where's all the stuff at? And let's undo that, put the color back, and then let's reduce the height to 50, 50. Okay, now, the dark, this dark green here, I think that's the original, that should be a top links bottom bar. Oh, that's the container. Let's change the container to yellow, just to see if that's the container. That is the container. Okay, so, all right. So let's move this green up a little bit into the yellow space. Okay, so that green is here. Just to be sure, I'm just gonna change the colors around because all this hexadecimal colors are kind of messing me up. So let's just say that's aqua. Okay, so this aqua has to push up a little bit. So from the bottom, we're gonna say, let's try 30 pixels, pixels. Okay, push it up a little bit more uh, to 20. Uh, looks like that was a bit too much. How about 18? Oh, that's even worse. So 22. Okay, so it looks like 20 is perfect. is perfect. So we click here. That's fine. We click away. It's, it goes away. All right. So now we can get the color we had back. I don't remember what the color is. I'm just going to go to top W3 schools and oh, you know what? If we make this transparent now, maybe the color in the background will show. Well, the yellow is showing. If we make the yellow transparent, that's the container, what happens? Save. Okay, nothing showing there. So we need to put the color here. 
So let's go back here and get a, I think it was one of these colors we used. Just click on this one. I'm not sure what it is. I'll put it back here uh, on line 26 for the top links bottom bar. Save. Let's be happy with that, right? You can always tweak it from now until next Thursday, but let's just see how it is. Just make sure you're, and of course, once we put the link, um, you know, like the link names, index, directory, it's going to go to those pages. So, so getting this mobile, sorry, the hamburger part is like probably the most complex part of your mobile development. So once you go back to uh, desktop view, the desktop view should be still fine. No problem at all. No conflict. You come back to mobile view, and once it gets under 600 pixels, or refresh the page rather, once it comes under 600 pixels, you can click here, click here, and it's fine. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So click, click away, click, click away, click, click away, click click away, it's fine. All right. Uh, the only thing is you've got to click to get it to get it to go away. If you don't click, uh, it's going to stay there. So you click to get it to go away. When you get more comfortable or in the future, if you do a JavaScript class or JavaScript course, then you know how to, you know, do some manipulations to get it to be more dynamic how you want it to be. But for now, this works how what we're trying to do. So Okay, let's remember we're trying to get to this level. So let's keep going. We've got a little more to do. All right. So I think to be safe, you can just put some, put a note, right, and say something like right here. by responsive code and you can just copy that and say right here so that's where it is so if you want to reuse this uh, just make sure you have this section in there right this here this here Make sure you have that and the JavaScript and this JavaScript. And of course, you also got to have your, you know what, let's put the same thing in the CSS right here. So we say uh, in the mobile CSS right here, So right there, and we say right here it ends. Okay. So you have that block of code for the, the HTML, right? The HTML, the JavaScript, and, the, and your mobile. You can use this code anywhere. All right, so save. Refresh the page, be sure everything still stays, still works. Click, click away, click, click away, click, click away. That's it. All right. So the next part. So go to the HTML. Now we're going to look at the, that should be, like the logo, right? We put the logo there. So the logo is right here. We put it in the top links bottom bar right here. Uh, 
Actually, we might, we might as well just grab everything here, right? The logo and the title. Okay, so take it here to the dex, uh, to your index, and it's going to go right in here. Okay, so let's save that and refresh the page and see. Not seeing anything happening. Let's see. Oh. So top links, bottom bar, do we have that in the desktop? Top links, bottom bar, yeah, we do have that. But we're not seeing, but let's zoom a little bit here. Okay, nothing is showing. So where is everything? Okay, so first of all, we need the beach ball, the PNG file. So go to your folder, make sure you have the correct file. You might have to copy and paste from the other work you did before. So beach ball is right here. Just actually everything you need, right? Beach ball, airplane, and the travel icon here. So those three images are gonna be needed. So copy those three, uh, copy them and then take them to your new folder and just paste it right there. Okay, so let's see if we're anything showing yet, nothing is showing yet. So I wonder if this blue bar, this light blue bar is kind of like covering those guys up. So let's verify that. So delete this for one second and delete this for one second. Actually, I did the wrong thing. Delete this part. Yeah, actually it's correct. Delete this part and delete this part. But that's not what we, that's not what we deleted. Okay, take this away. Top links, bottom bar. So this top links bottom bar. Oh, we have top links bottom bar twice. Oh, so we put this guy in the wrong place, it looks like. So that's yeah, we put it in the wrong place. It's kind of supposed to be up here. So let's just undo, undo, undo. Yeah, so we have it here, it shouldn't be there, it's up here instead. So what happens if we just take it out? Looks like it's a mistake all along. Save. All right, nothing terrible is happening. Oh, that's, the, that's for the mobile. Okay, so. Well, we gave it a different name. Top links bar mobile so looks like we took out too many things so let's undo that um Let me just put it back to how it was. Okay, so.
Looks like we took out the stuff for our mobile. Let me see. I think I went kind of too fast there. Okay, so the hamburger menu. Okay, this is fine. Okay. I don't think we did much too much harm. Let's save, go back here and see what's going on. Okay, so everything is back. All right, for a second there, I was wondering what happened. Okay. But the question is still, why do we have two of the same here? Oh, you know why? This part at the bottom is for the mobile, right? Because everything in here, let's not, I was getting a bit confused, it happens in web development, right? Everything in here belongs to the mobile section. Remember, when we went in here, we said, where, well, right here. Top links, no, not there. Top links, bottom bar, top links, bottom bar, right? We need it, um, we need it in the, in the mobile and in the desktop. Okay. All right, so we, so yeah, so we use that part, right? We used it in our, you know, you know, we used it along with our um, top links mobile, so it's fine. Yeah, the top here, this section is top links bar. That's the part that shows in the desktop. So this part here is what shows in the mobile view. So that's what we have this guy doing there. So not to be confused. I was a bit confused there for a second. Okay. All right, so All right, so so the information we want to do has to go here, not here. This section at the bottom is for the mobile view. So I was putting the wrong place, really. So we got to go here, right? So go back here and copy your copy your details. And then on where is it? And on line 14, right, line 14 is where we paste it. So that is the section that shows up in the desktop view. The bottom here is for the mobile view. Okay, so now let's save it and it should be fine. There you go. And if we go to the mobile view, it doesn't show because that section doesn't show in the mobile view because of, a, you know, we, we did the display block and the display none. So it's very easy to get confused and lost when you're in web development. Trust me. It's like, okay, what's going on here? That's why you need a lot of comments. In fact, I think I'm going to do this. So I can say, put a comment here desktop view start or rather say code for desktop view start and ends here and here And then here we say code for mobile view. So just push that down a little bit, push it down. Start. And 
ends. Yeah, this container, we have to, you know, like maybe put this container, you know, on both sides. Um, we have to take care of that a little bit. So, yeah, let's say ends. So, like I said earlier, you literally have to have duplicate codes, one set for the desktop view and one set for the mobile view. Okay. So let me just see here, do we have any other container? Just that container there, okay. All right, so just push this down here so we know there's no conflict. So let's stay with the mobile view, uh, with the desktop view for a second. So we have the title and that's all we had up there, the title and then this, um, this rounded images. So let's go get the rounded images. Those rounded images are right here. So these are the buttons. Okay, this is the rounded images up here. So, um, so let's just grab this here. Yeah, there are two of them, so grab it here. We place them right above the top links bar. So copy, go, um, go here and place them right here above the top links bar, right here. All right, so let's save it and see. Perfect. So perfect for the desktop view, but you can imagine when we go to the mobile view, well, it's not showing, so that's a good thing because I think of what we did earlier, and that is um, yeah, we have it specific. I think we have it specific to the desktop view. Okay, so to get you to show in the mobile view, we have to make some some changes, right? So let's say. Let's just be sure we don't have any conflict. This is still fine. Okay. So let's copy what we have here. Or let's just copy one, right? Just one first. And then go down to the mobile view. And remember we put it just above the top links bar, which should be like correspond with right here. So let's put it here. I think, no. So we need to make some changes, like create a div or something. Okay, so Let's just take this out. So I'm going to say, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to just use this here. I'm going to put it right here and create another div. Let's create another div. Okay, so let's call it, you know, just to be, just to help you know, without getting confused with too many IDs, rounded images, mobile. Okay. So we're gonna call it. So we can use the same styles for the most part. The only thing is we have to, well, let's go and grab the style. So you can grab all the styles here Right, grab everything, copy. And then you put it in here, style. 
equals put it in here okay now if we save we're not going to see anything but when we come here uh all right it's fine here so we got we got to get we got to use this here in the mobile css and say let me copy that go in here and say Actually, this is hamburger menu. Let me change this here. Hamburger. The whole code doesn't end. Just a mobile hamburger menu. Okay. Yeah, because the whole file, the whole file is the mobile code. So, yeah. All right, let's grab what we're trying to grab. So copy this, put it right here. And we're gonna say display block to get it to show, display block. Display block. So save, now refresh the page. Um, we're still not seeing it. So let's take things one step at a time. So go here. Let's remove the positioning. Let's remove the positioning here. That might be giving us some problems. Okay, save. There you go. It's more like it. Okay, but now we've got to move things um, away from there a little bit. So we have background repeat, no repeat background position, 50 background radius. All right, so style. So let's, because we want it to overlap, right? Overlap just like the, the uh, desktop view. Yeah, you might notice, um, you know, what is showing here, this is the part for the mobile view. So we have to take care of some things. All right, so let's add a position in here. Let's see at the end. All right. position relative. Because let's see how we did the other one here. We did position fixed. That was fixed. Well, let's keep going. We might do fixed here too. Okay, so that is relative. So let's say fixed. There you go, more like it. So fixed, but well, we've got to change the size, right? Because it's it's too big for mobile. So let's adjust the size. Right here, this still works. So let's adjust the size. So we say border radius is 50. The width. How about 100? Height, 100. Okay. Not too bad. Um, wait, wait, I just want to be sure some, do we need this width and height? Let me see, maybe, maybe not. We do, right? We do. Sometimes I, I try to remove code that I don't think I need. So we need the code. All right, but the border is probably too thick. So let's reduce the border thickness. Let's make it three. 
All right. And now background repeat, no repeat, background position. I think instead of background position, we should do background size. I would just say cover. Background color, we don't need that. That should be transparent. So let's see. Okay, so we're going to see everything. So uh, let's bring it down a little bit here, a little bit. So fix from the top, let's say, 25 px from the top okay keep coming down want it to be like right here um say 65 keep going say 95 yeah. let's increase the size a little bit more how about 130 by 130. That's not too bad. And the positioning is good. Let's just do a dead hundred. Okay, so now let's shift it away from the left side. So we're gonna say, we go right here and you wanna say padding left. 15 px let's see if that works if it's padding or margin nope not that padding left 15 px nope that didn't work pick it out undo save all right, let's try uh, style border. Margin left 15 PX. Okay, that's what we want, margin. So does this still work? That still works. You know what, I just wanna increase it just a little bit more. 150. You know, on the mobile phone, uh, you know, your images should be as visible and clear as possible. Okay. So now let's see. All right. So you see on the on the desktop side, you're seeing that image there. It shouldn't be there. So let's go to the desktop CSS. First of all, let's see what's happening in the mobile section. So we have this ID, so we have to hide this ID on the desktop side. So let's go here, go to the very bottom. And the same thing we did here, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna copy this here, put it down here and say display none. Refresh the page and now you see it's gone. All right, so Come back to the mobile view. Actually, we might need to bring this down a little bit more because of the logo, right? So, or maybe the logo is just going to sit up here. Maybe a little smaller logo this time. So let's see. So let's go get the logo. The logo is right here. the logo and let's put it I think it's right in the top links bottom bar so top links bottom bar it's actually inside it right inside okay so put it here and see if it's good if we have to make changes or not 
Okay, not too bad. So we can just push it up. Push it up. So it's a bit too big. So let's do 80. And push it up to the green space. So we say. Actually, if it's going to be in the green space, it should be here in the top links mobile bar mobile top links bar mobile is where it should be so let's give it a try we'll take it out of here and put it in here put it here on line 32 save causing some trouble there but if we say if we had a style and say float left maybe it would just get it to go the other way let's see exactly so float left yeah it works so it's gonna stay up here but when we fully to the left it, it kind of we it's a it's a what a direct command move to the left so that seemed to work. Sometimes you got to play around with your values to see the effect. All right, so float left, we want to reduce the, the width a little bit more, say 50. All right. Um, how about, yeah, 50 looks good. We just need to push it up a little bit, right? Just a little bit. So we can say, Position, position is very good for sh making things shift just a little bit. So position, relative, relative is because it's in that confined space already, okay? So relative, and then we say relative, we say from the bottom, we say how about 5px from the bottom? Let's see what happens. So look closely here. Yep, perfect. Well, just say three, three picks, just a little bit from the bottom, from the off the of the bottom. That's fine. That works perfect. Uh, menu still fine. Everything's intact. So now let's go grab the name. The name here is this is the name. Uh, The name here is just below the logo, so let's go here and put it right in here. Oh, it's totally off. So how about we do the same thing? Let's throw it to the left. Float. Uh, float left. Um, that seems to have some problems. So, yeah, it's too far off. So how about we just 175 from the bottom? This is also too much. So let's just say 12. Let's see, font size is too big. So let's say 30. Okay, more, better, 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 better. Okay, let's bring it down. So position relative um, from the left side should be 35. Okay, from the bottom, that's a bit too much. So let's say three, just like we had the logo. Oh, it's got to come down a little bit more. So maybe that's like 13, no, that's the other way. So looks like it's gonna be a negative number, minus three. Minus six. Depend on, depending on where the item is, it might just be a negative number, but as long as it moves and does what you want it to do, there's no problem with that. 
18. And this still works. Okay, this is moving a little bit. So I think that's because of the padding that we had. I think the padding we had um, must be the padding that we had in the logo, like right here. Yeah, I just moved a little bit. Well, let's let's finish that up. Maybe we'll, we'll discover what happened there. So, beach travels from the left, twenty-five. A bit more. How about twelve? Okay. All right. So this guy here. Um, let's go to the mobile. Yeah, that's our menu. That's our menu nav bar. No, that's not our menu nav bar. Yeah, I think it's this guy. Menu nav bar links. If we change the color, we, we can be more certain of what it is. Yep, that's it. So all right, so let's see what's going on there, why it's shifted. We might need to push this up a little bit more, so we we'll say 40. There you go. That looks like it just worked perfectly, but let's see 38. Oh, that's still fine. How about 34? Okay, so 35 might be perfect. Sometimes when you move other items, some other items get affected. So you have to adjust for that. 36, I'm gonna go with 36. It's gonna be right at the edge, right there. Okay, so you go to desktop view. You shouldn't see anything that you don't want to see there. And when you come back to the mobile view, it looks fine. Okay, maybe we can reduce this bar, right? Maybe we don't need to be so big. Um, you know, you can always reduce that if you want. Let's not spend too much time on that. So what else do we have here? We have the content area, which is like mostly just this part here and we should be done. So you want to have two, actually two images, right? So we have that here. How about for the mobile? We have just one. So maybe we want to have just one in the mobile, right? You can always have exactly the same thing. Or maybe for the mobile, we want it to be centered. Right, so we can decide to center it in the mobile. So let's do a little bit more of that and center that item. So it's right here, rounded images. So position fixed top uh, from the left. I think from the left we did margin left. So let's say what happens if we just say margin left auto? Maybe that way we can get to go to um, this, you know dead center margin right. Okay, that didn't work. I'm not always exactly sure of all the values, to be honest. So you gotta play around with a lot of your values. So let's try 115. You just gotta give it a, a visual look to see if it's in the center and you're happy with it. 
135. Um, there may be, you know, there certainly, you know, maybe more straightforward ways, or should I say, um, more precise ways to get it to be centered, and you discover that as you go along. Um, I'm just going to go with this for now. So let's move it a little bit more. Margin left, let's just say 145. Just to visually, you want to see. It looks okay to me. Uh, one thing you can do is I always use my notepad as a ruler, quite interestingly. So I'm going to shrink it. I can shrink it right there. So you can see right there. And now I'm going to. But will you allow me to move it? I need something to grab it with. Yeah, I need to be able to grab it. So let me try that again. It's hard to grab it when it's this small, right? You don't have much, <laughs> much way of grabbing it. So let me do this this way. Now I see that just a little bit here, so. It looks fine to me. Okay, so just to increase the size, uh, because now it's in the center, maybe even push it back up a little bit. So from the top, let's just say 80. All right, and then the size can be, I don't know, maybe 180 by 180. Make it a real dominant picture there. So now you go shift it back a little bit from the left, so say 135. It'd be like 132, as far as my eyes can tell anyway. Let me try this again. not doing a, a, the perfect job of a ruler, but it still works for me a little bit. So let's say 130, 130. All right, that works for me. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. When we go back here, it's fine. We have two, we have one over here. That works. Now let's do the bottom part. So that's your that's your container. So, so let's go here and we're gonna say container. We're gonna have two containers, right? So the first container is gonna be, I'm just gonna grab this, take this guy and put it all the way up here, right after the code for desktop, and then I'm going to leave this down here for mobile, so say mobile. Okay, so just to be sure that it's working, I'm going to say stuff. All right, so I'm not sure what exactly is here. Let me say stuff two. I said stuff two is showing here. Whatever the mobile stuff is showing. So it's, it's kind of reversed. All right, so stuff is showing here and stuff two. So where is it? So up here we have stuff. And here we have stuff two. So this is showing, okay. So I know what's happening. I'm going to take this out. Put it down here. And let's see what happens. Okay, so I think that's, that's the proper way for it to show. It's showing down here. Okay, so here's what we do. We got to hide again and stuff like that. So put this up top. All right, so save it, refresh the page. So stuff two.
uh, is showing here and over here stuff too. So they're both showing, which is which is okay. It's okay. So so let's so. Mm. Actually, how about if we just reverse it a little bit? Okay. Take this out. How about come back here? how it was originally stuff so two is showing there so container mobile and when we go here stuff so two is showing okay so how about if we say just container we're gonna go here and say container display this is the desktop block and in the mobile we're going to say display none so we don't need any of this stuff here display none and then we reverse it right we're going to reverse and here we're going to say uh, right here container mobile display block so up here we say display none for the container for the desktop and down here we want it to show so in the desktop we reverse it so here we block and at the bottom I just copy this here. This is going to be display none. Okay, so let's see all that. Okay, go back here. Um, nothing is actually showing right now, so no problem. What happens if we move something away from here and put it up here? I think maybe we're putting it in the wrong place, that's all. Uh, we might be put in the wrong place. So let's see if we take this out. What happens? Okay. So let's be more clear here. So this is the uh, this is the right here is the bottom bar. Okay, so this is the bottom bar, and this is the top links bar right here. Okay, so container needs to be right here. It needs to be there. It needs to be in that spot. Let me take this out for one sec. So let's see what the properties of container. The width, the height. Now let's let's give it a red color just so that it shows. There you go. So that's that's what we want to see there. That's what I was looking for. And when we go to mobile view, nothing shows. So let's go to mobile view now, and mobile view should be this guy here. 
container mobile the mobile view okay it's gonna gone away from there okay so let's take this out again All right, so what is showing here is stuff. Okay, so this one is showing, and this one up here. So which exactly is showing? Let me just, one, two, three. I'm not sure which particular one is showing. Uh, four, five, six. All right, so four, five, six. The bottom one is showing, um, container is showing there. And where do we have container mobile? Container mobile is not anywhere. So let's see something here. Okay, so this might, this might be why we're having a problem. Container, yeah, let's keep going. So let's take this out. This is not showing anything anywhere. All right, so let's see what shows up now. All right, it seems to disappear when we put it there. So let's go back here. So in the in the desktop CSS, container mobile should not show. Container should show in the desktop. In the mobile, container mobile should show. Oh, but we don't have any dimensions for container mobile. We only have that text in there. Okay, let me look at this for one second. Okay. So, so let's look over our files. I took a minute there to just verify what was happening here. You may not have noticed again. So on line 55 and 56, you want to have your container for the desktop and the container for the mobile. Now, very important, we have to change the positioning, right? We have to move the container like further down here, just like we did here, right? We've got to move it down. So go into the container for the desktop, go all the way top here, and let's say position relative. And then from the top, let's just say, I don't know, from the top, Let's just do 150 px. Let's see if we get get it to show. All right, so that's the container for um, for the desktop. For the mobile, I remember that in the desktop view we have to hide the container mobile. We don't want that to show on the desktop side. So now you go into the mobile and go into the container, make sure that is blocked, display none, and then all the way down to the mobile, we've got to use uh, position relative, I would say top. Again, you can try 150 px, just to see that it shows. There you go. So that is stuff mobile. I want to go to desktop. That is stuff 456, exactly how we want it to be right here. So now we can put all the stuff in there that needs to go in there. All right. So here's where, what needs to go in there. I'm just going to grab everything here. Yeah, 
all the p tags and all that stuff i'm gonna go there just gonna paste it going to the paste it in here for the desktop right just paste it right there for the desktop before i paste that let me just put a you know i'll say desktop container because we don't want to get lost later maybe not now but maybe at a different point you're looking at your work and you're like what you know what's going on here so comments always very helpful so this starts and this ends here and then we'll say for the mobile same thing right here start mobile container starts and ends okay so now let's go and paste what we need to paste copy it go here to your html paste it just right in here paste just save refresh the page and all your stuff should be in there okay we're going to take care of the background color in fact let's do that right now but let's just be sure that the mobile side is still fine it is fine so let's take care of the colors uh the container colors uh right here container so the original the container was let's see he had all this attributes so let's let's copy all the attributes actually it should be fine and put it right here in the container actually uh let's take it a little bit at a time so let's do the z index the color the padding and the overflow let's just do that part for now Put that down here. You don't want to do too much. So let's put that there and see what happens. Okay, we have our, yep. Actually, it looks like that's all we needed, right? Yep. And then just the background color should be the last thing we need. So the background color is this right here. Copy that color. Go to desktop, change it, paste, save. And I think our, I think this is all set. Compared to this one here, it looks pretty identical. Right, maybe the height, it can be a bit taller, maybe. The height, um, the height here was 200. And here we have it as, 200 so what's different up 150 oh 230 so the distance from the top 230 so let's go here and say this is 230 also all right so now it's literally identical you can't even see a difference right it's identical so this is what we have this is the responsive site and this is what we had in the other lecture. So identical. All right, the only difference is the background is still white, so we need to change that white, um, you know. Okay, let's go to the mobile view. And let's see if we can repeat, you know, so, you know similar there. So go here and So we want to get the button and some of that info to show up there. All right. So here it is. So here's the info. Let me just grab it again, copy everything. Not everything is going to work at the first time, but we can always make changes. So put it right here paste 
save. All right, so let's make the changes we need to make. This is still fine for the most part. So okay. So desktop mobile, so container mobile here. First of all, let's shrink the let's give it a width. So go in here and say the width is 100. It probably shouldn't be up to 100%, but let's do 100%. Want to create some space on the sides. Okay, so if we make it 80%, all right. But now it needs to be centered. So we're going to do margin left. Margin right. Okay, so it's mostly centered now. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. There's some good spacing here and spacing on the right side. Okay. Now we want it to go like flow behind, right, behind everything. So Z index, Z index, let's see, minus one. There's no PX with the Z index. All right, so that's fine. So we just need to bring it, to push it down, down, down. So from the top, we'll say 180, 190, Okay, a bit more from the top, about 210. A bit more, 230. This image is still in the way a little bit, so 250. Okay. All right, so we need to close up the space we have up here for some reason that is happening. And here we need this, we need the menu to overlap this, email, this, this picture, right? So, but the button is fine. Um, the other button, let's see what's happening with the other button there. It doesn't really show the color. So that's right here. Let's give it a border. So let's say border one pixel solid gray. All right, let's give it a, let's push it down. So we're just gonna say, put a BR tag, a break tag. That usually works. Okay, one more break tag. Okay, so, so that works. At the very bottom, we can take off some of the info because your info shouldn't be too, you know, shouldn't be longer than your page. You're gonna have some problems there. So, uh, we still have too much info. So, take out some more. Okay, I think um, what is happening is maybe the the width, the height that we had. So let's go here and see. Yeah, we don't have any height here. So let's say H E I G H T. Let's give it a specific height. So let's just try 500 P X. Yep, we need to give it a height. All right, so now we can see all our info to the very end. Okay, so so let's see. Let's just 
And just copy a little bit of text here, put it at the bottom here, just to extend the info that's there. Post this P tag, open on the P tag, put some more info. All right, let's see. So now we should say 49 videos on screen at the very bottom. That's it right there. Okay. So we can always decide to put more pictures, um, you know, make it, but let's deal with the top here. So let's see what's happening at the very top here. We must have added something that created that space. So let's go to the desktop version. That looks fine. We go back here, that space is there. It's always tough to find out exactly how that space got there. Um, so the best bet is go to your index page and let's see if anything is at the very top of the page. All right, that might be, you know, creating some problems. So all the way at the top here, this is the, that's the logo. Actually, I think I might have an idea. Let's go to the mobile CSS. The last thing we added here was top 250 pixels, right? The container mobile. So, Let's say we take out, let's just take all that out. Okay, the space is still there. All right, let's put it back. Yeah, when you're going so fast and you don't check it out, you know, things just, some things just shift. Quite annoying. All right, so we're trying to look for what is, why we have this space. Uh, it looks like we need to go into top links bar mobile. Um, looks like we need to do something here. Top, let's say, I don't know, 12 pixels from the top. Let's see if it's gonna get anything to shift. All right, so everything's moving up there, so that's very good. Uh, how about, should we increase this or reduce this? I'm not so sure. Let's see, 21. Okay, so we need to reduce it. It might even have to be a negative number. So two, save. Oh, it looks like it should just be zero, right? We just need to specify zero from the top and that way it closes out the space there. Yep, exactly. All right, so All the other things are at the like in the background, which is exactly what we want. Okay. Um, so now, yeah, we need to move this image behind this, you know, like give it a Z index of minus, so it goes behind the uh, the menu, the pop up menu. So that is, let's see, what's that image now? in the mobile view, rounded image. So go here, the rounded image in the mobile is right here. Okay, so Z index is gonna copy this here. So Z index uh, not quite. Let's see here, maybe we'll give it a Z index already. But there's no Z index, so we probably need to decrease the Z index. So how about Z index of minus, let's just say 10. Um, 
not quite. We've got to be sure we're, we're looking at the right Z index actually. This is for mobile view starts. Or let's look at if there's a Z index here for, you know, like the reverse. Is the index for the menu nav bar links? I think the menu nav bar links is, let's just see. Okay, that's what it is. So put the color back. Now let's give it a Z index. Let's kind of try to position all these guys. Let's give it a Z index of one. And then we give the other one, we give the rounded image a Z index of ten. It's not doing what we want. Let's play around with it a little bit. All right. Um, so let's let's compare something because we have inline styles for this rounded images mobile. So there might be a conflict. So let's see if we have a Z index here. Oh yeah, we have a Z index. So there's a conflict. So let's take the Z index out. Um, maybe that's where the conflict is. And let's say the Z index here is going to be minus one. Let's see if that's going to get it to move out of the way. Oh, now it's gone like too much to the back. So what's the Z index of zero going to do? Okay, Z index of one. Okay, so, all right, I have an idea. So let's do minus one. Okay, and then we give this green green guy, we we'll push that further to the back, right? So let's see. Um, so that is, That should be this guy here. So let's make this minus five. Oh no, that's the wrong thing. We did the wrong thing. That's the wrong thing. Not that one there. It's the green bar we want. So the green bar is top links bar mobile, I think. No. Top links, bottom bar. So let's make that minus five. Minus five didn't work. Minus 10. Okay, we've got to tweak this a little bit more. We're almost done. This is just a couple of things left. Maybe you can even, maybe you've even figured it out yourself, right? You're moving ahead, which is great. All right, let's go on here and see if we can wrap this up. So line 83 for your rounded images mobile, let's set that to Z index of one. Make sure it's at one. Okay, we still have the menu at the back. We're gonna fix that now. Uh, go to the index, make sure your mobile section where it has no Z index here. There should be no Z index there. All right, so just the mobile, mobile uh, line 86, you have a Z index. Actually, uh, let me just be clear, in the right here, on line 32 um, in your inline style, there should be no Z index there. That's what I meant. 
Now go to your mobile, place the Z index of one on line 86. So this is good. All right, so for the menu, here's what I think we need to adjust here. So menu, but not bar links. This positioning needs to be fixed. Fixed, all right, see what happens, fixed. And when it's fixed and you refresh the page and you click, it's gonna be there, right? It's gonna be um, like right there at that spot. That still doesn't solve the problem, right? All right, so uh, here's what uh, we're gonna do to move forward. So first of all, I want this, you know, let's make this menu like stretch. Let's stretch it full length. So we're going to say 100%. 100%. So when you click there, it's 100%. Um, then we have to do the top, like uh, zero pixels from the top, because you can see that one of the items is not showing. Um, the, the contact is not showing. So that's going to be zero pixels from the top. So now it's a hundred percent. So when you scroll, it's always going to be there. So this green, when you look at the, let me close this. When you look at the desktop version, um, you know, we don't really need a background here for the mobile. So I'm just going to change it around a little bit. So this background here, we're going to remove it. Um, so Let's remove the background, just make it transparent. So right here, we're gonna say bottom bar. Here is gonna be transparent. Okay. And now we're gonna push this image to the back. So we go down here and say Z index minus one. All right, so it's now, you know, it's um, kind of nice how we have it here. So you can decide to move this if you want. Um, you know, like, <clears throat> here's what I mean. You want to move it uh, from the left, so width, height, float, display, top. So from the left, say from the left, shift it in. Let's try 50%. Okay, menu nav bar links. Oh, we didn't got to kind of close that, right? Okay, so from the left 50%, um, a little bit more, maybe, or well, let's use definite um, values here, 200 PX. Or a little bit more to 30. PX, um, just a little bit closer to 40, well, 250, no, too much, 240, a little bit too much, 230, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. So if you want to do that, or if you don't want it to be full, full length, you can say, just make it a 50%, you know, you have all kinds of options of what you can do. Just make it 50%, you click on it, you click off, or you make it 70%, whatever your preference is, right? You can even decide that at the bottom, like right here, um, border radius, no border left radius, that's at the bottom. Border bottom left radius. 
uh, we say 12 px. That's the border bottom left. Let's see what happens if that works. Supposed to be its bottom here. Um, border bottom left radius. Well, let's see something here. Let's take out all these guys. Okay, so that affects everything, but we just want it to be the border. I think it's border left radius. I'm not sure I got that right. Border bottom left radius. I think that's what it is. Okay, right there. So you see how it curves that part there? Maybe make it more obvious. Just trying to show you options of what you can do. See right there. So, or you can decide to go real crazy and say 45. So you see it has a certain look. See that look that it has? If you like that look, you can just keep that look the way it is. All right. Um, so, so if I stretch it 100%, I see what it looks like. So you see that curvy look there. We can make it a little bit worse. Let's say 65. This is all about style, just personal preferences right now. Your preference, right? So, okay. So let's use the same colors so that everything looks um, uniform in terms of the colors that we use there. So uh, it's mostly the blue. So let's go to the desktop version. Um, just get the colors right. The background color is white. The container, so let's use the container color right here. So our container is actually down here container. So right here, the color. Um, no, not for that part. We don't need the color over there. So not that. Not there at all. Not there. Uh, one second, I just want to check something out here. Rounded images. Yet. Um, yeah, we don't want this to be fixed. We want it to move, right? So how about if we go here and say relative? Is that going to mess anything up? Relative. Okay, yep. We want it to move along with the other items. Okay, so. And then this is a bit too far down. So. You know, your work does a lot in just tweaking, making sure everything is fine. So let's bring this uh, content up a little bit. So from the bottom, let's say, I don't know, 150. Okay, a little bit more, about 100. Okay, and this is fine. Let's just say 85. Okay, so that's good. All right, so the colors we're trying to deal with now, we want to get it kind of, so let's see the colors, colors, colors. So how about the color for the background here will be for the menu nav bar links. Okay, that's good. And then we say same thing for the top here, right? The top, so uh, top bar right here. Okay, so there's some consistency there. Um, 
and we can decide that some of our, maybe even this button if we want, or you can just leave it the way it is, right? So a lot of things you can do, um, but important thing is, you know, you have your mobile page and all these different links can link to different, and you can add more links there to your pages. All right, so um, I might decide to, you know, move this page, this, uh, what you might call it, this image, maybe add another image at the bottom here. So let's just do that. We've done a lot already, so let's add just a little bit more. So right here, rounded image, I'm gonna copy that right there, and then go down in my, go in the content, and just stick it right here. How about we just stick it right here? Put a P tag and put it right there and see what happens. Or did we take it out? We also want to copy. I think we might have gone too far down. Um, let's undo what we did. Okay, so refresh the page. So right here where we have built-in collaboration, Let's grab this here. Copy. Okay, right here, put it there. Um, I'm not seeing it duplicate there. Well, I think it's the positioning. All right, so uh, the width, the height, the position, okay, relative from the top. So let's say, let's just take this out for one second now. And let's see where it's gonna end up. Okay, so not showing up there well, Maybe that will be an assignment for you, right? So we're just going to end this right now. Um, I think we accomplished what we tried to accomplish. Um, final thing, let's upload all our files, right, and test it on the server. It looks fine here, and then we can test it with that mobile test site um, to see how it looks like. So you want to go to your upload page. Just put a name here. This has been a very um, kind of intense lecture. So uh, just go through all the code. If you think you missed anything, just go through everything again. Um, but this is a value, very valuable skill for you to learn, very valuable and very useful for the future also if you decide to take this as a career. So let's upload everything. So right here, responsive website. All right, so uh, let's start with the index page. Upload the index page, click the link. All right, this is the index page. If you minimize the page, it was to look like a mobile, but let's upload everything first. Index page, um, the pictures, refresh the page. All right, just want to refresh as you upload each file, each ball. All okay, bring it down. All right, mobile view. The desktop CSS, first of all, upload, refresh. Yep, that's looking good. Then you upload the 
hamburger. Refresh the page. Okay, keep going. Upload the menu bar, the JavaScript. Okay. Then the mobile CSS upload. All right, so you can see some of your mobile effects are right there. Then I think we just need the picture and we should be all set. The travel icon. So it's fine here and it's fine here. So this is the uploaded file. So our final test, we're going to take uh, the mobile view. We're going to take this view here and go put it here. All right, that's our mobile site. So it's always, you know, for the most part, okay. You can, well, this, it looks like the screen might be too small or the uh, mobile view might be too small. So a little bit of tweaking might be needed. Uh, let's go to, yeah, I mean, I don't know, this device here. So this looks just perfect, right? So you, so, you know, you do a lot of testing. Um, yeah, this looks perfect. So this might be uh, the right size for what we're doing. Uh, the mobile is not too bad, really. Um, maybe just, we just need to shift some of the images a little bit, just a little bit to get it to work here. But the, the perfect test is for you to do it on a mobile phone. Right, you can do it on a mobile phone, then you're absolutely sure if you're doing this professionally, right? But also for class, you might need to move things a little bit. So don't just use your browser, like here, where you just shift the browser down. This, a lot of what we did today was, you know, class demonstration, but don't just use your browser alone. Um, and don't wait to the very end. So right now, if you're testing your work and you see that it doesn't look quite perfect um, on the mobile test me, then you want to go back, uh, maybe go relax a little bit and then shift things a little bit more, okay? Um, but you know, if you're really close like that, then I think you're on the right track, okay? Um, I mean, for class purposes, right? Um, you know, if it works this way, it'll be acceptable, but you know, you want to be proud of your work because sometimes you might have to include your work as a portfolio for a future job. You know, so if you need to tweak it to look as perfect as possible, then go ahead and do that. Um, let me see something here. Yeah, if you need to tweak it uh, before you submit, then make sure you do that and then you'll be all set, okay? We're gonna end this lecture now. This has been a very, very um, you know, intense lecture. We spent a lot of time trying to look for stuff, making sure everything was fine. That is how it happens in web development. You don't always have the answers right there. I mean, I could always give you the answers without you know, wasting a single second, but that might look a bit fake. So I do this for real, you know, so that you know that when you start facing problems yourself, it's not like, oh, why am I having this problem? This professor never has a problem. I do have problems when I'm doing this. So this is like, you know, real life. So, but you have a lot of tools. If you need to make any changes, go ahead, look at the values, tweak a little bit here, tweak a little bit there, make sure you have comments in your code and it's gonna help you when you're troubleshooting. All right, so that's all we got for this lecture. I'll talk to you guys later.